Righto, today's the day, maiden voyage for the camper trailer. We've got a place booked about 45 minutes from home, uh, so it's not too far, so if we do miss anything, we do have an opportunity there to go home. More to come on that. Um, the place looks like it's all right. Uh, pictures pictures are, are pretty good. The place is, um, looks a bit dusty, so we'll see how that goes in the setup. Uh, yeah, so we'll sit back, relax, and we'll give you a bit of a sneak peek when we get there and show you the way through to the campsite, and happy days. Welcome back, everyone. Here we go, pulling into this nice little hip camp here. It's almost like we've been here before. So as the sign says, slow down, take a breath, and just enjoy the ride. Hey, mate, yeah, I know we're here. Hey, we're here, look. Nice day today. I think we've got a top of 31, although it's 32 at the moment. Much better than yesterday when we cracked the 40s. So fingers crossed it is a, not, a, a lot cooler than it was yesterday. As you can see, everything out here looks a bit dry at the moment. Welcome to summer in WA. And it looks like we had a no access in front of us and we get pushed to the right. I'm not gonna lie, I have been here before, so I know where we're going. So if this is the first time you're coming here, you'll get a message from, is it Michelle? Yeah. To say, please wait at the chook shed. Welcome to the chook shed. As you can see here, there is a total fire van in place at the moment, which is nice of the people to write on the sign. Um, you're meant to stop here and uh, give Michelle a call, but we are already parked up, so I'm just gonna keep going to our campsite. Long story there, but we did our maiden trip with the camp trailer and we forgot a couple of things. Including uh, toiletries. <laughs> including toiletries. So we're coming up to the ablution block now. Um, so this place does have toilets. It does have outdoor showers. Um, so you are good to obviously use the facilities here, but we did forget our toiletry bags because I left them on the, <laughs> on the bench in the bathroom. So yes, that one is on me. Uh, but yeah, as you can see coming past here, there is toilets for gents and ladies, and then uh, two outdoor showers here as well. Um, they're quite clean. Uh, at least I didn't have a drama with the ones that I was in. So um, just to the right here is a, what looks like a nice big camping section. Uh, they do have a small dam in front of us as well, which has the ladders to get in and out. Um, and then our spot is just tucked away through this gate to the right hand side. Oh look, someone's here with a camper trailer that looks exactly like ours. <laughs> oh you my goodness. Thought. Wow, that's amazing. Do you think they're the same people that forgot their toilet? Yeah, trees? probably the same idiots that forgot all their crap and had to go home and get it and then come back. <laughs> and now it's like almost two o'clock on a Saturday afternoon and we've basically just wasted the day, but hey, it was all good fun, right? Um, so this is our little spot here, as you can see. Trailer's all set up now, so we're gonna back into this spot here and Go and have a frothy, I reckon. I think it's beer o'clock. Yeah. Might finish off your lunch. And uh, yeah, happy days. We'll see you shortly.
So it's a 31 degree day today. So we take our dogs with us when we go camping. If you haven't done this already or you haven't thought about it, here's a hot tip. So he's munging away on a nice uh, brisket bone that you can just get from Woolies or Coles or whatever. Um, usually like a pack of four or five. Whacked it in the freezer at home. Um, kept it in the fridge while we're out. He's got a nice cold uh, treat while we're out camping and it keeps him quiet for well, probably 10 minutes, but hey, that's 10 minutes we don't have to look after him. I'd get a bit closer, but I don't have any shoes on at the moment. There's the other little feral rug right there. It's, that's probably her first bone. Uh, I did give him the big one and her the small one. I don't know how they swapped. Uh, they'll be okay to actually take it off them and swap them around, but I mean, you can see they're both quite happy. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave them alone while they're happy. Hot tip number one. So we're just going for a walk, right? And you, you know how sometimes you get the rain, that smell that comes through? I wish, as uh, Jocko would say, I wish you had smell of vision because like, there's some nice big, big gray clouds behind us like that, right? And it smells mint. Like I love, I love the smell of rain. It's so good. And that's what we are currently sniffing at the moment out here in this dry paddock, but it's, it's lovely. Get out there, guys. What's holding you back? Nothing, it's just you. So I took that video 30 seconds ago, right? And now it's starting to drop a rain. It is magic. I love this. Summer storms. Storms. There's like 15 drops and that's it. They're about the size of, what, a five cent piece? <laughs> if that. <laughs> oh, five cent piece is an exaggeration for those that need the reference. Um, but yes, it started to rain in the middle of summer. Magic. Righto. So the missos asked for a drink. We have some polka, which is a non-alcoholic, what is it, like a gin? I think that one's a gin, is it the botanical one? This is a blood orange and rhubarb, Adelaide Hills, South Australia. Italiana, no, Italian, non-alcoholic. Oh no, that's an Italian ap aperitif. aperitif. Yeah. Do you want this one or the other? No, I like that one. All right. So, I don't know how to say it. Get on the polka. Um, the missus says it's good shit. Ice? Nah. No ice. Otherwise it freezes my raspberry. But we do have, in this, we have raspberries. Yes, I'm running a freezer. Yes, it was hot. And, you, well, it's actually not too bad now because of the easterly that's coming. So I'll put some frozen raspberries. How many, like five, six? So about 10, put them in there, put them away so they don't thaw out. Ah, I hit my funny bone. Mm. Got myself on the canopy latch. That, oh, these are a pain to get open too. Dunk. Well, that smells nice. Cool. So get yourself some polka. Do I need to shake it before you? No, good, because I haven't. So treat this like alcohol, right? It's the same sort of ratios because it's not alcoholic, but it's still good stuff. Uh, soda water. From whom? And then we just top that bad boy up right there. And there's a mark there for the lid, so I think that's pretty close. We'll just whack this in the fridge. Wherever it came from, you know what it's like. They never go back in the way it came out. So long as it's in there and the lid closes, click. Cheers! A bit how you going? So fun fact number two for this trip. If uh, you're looking for a solution for paper towel, Note the above, Oki strap across two bolts holds a full paper towel rail, or it becomes a paper towel rail. Um, awesome to just pull down and tear off as needed. And I use that quite a lot. It becomes a bit painful when recording because it's obviously in the way. Um, but yeah, paper towel holder, Oki strap and a couple of bolts in your car to find a place to hang it, it's out the way. It's always accessible through the window. Um, easy days.
So this, this is going to be really funny, right? So the dog just fucked off and, and uh, he's in the, in the room. Are you comfy there? What are you doing? You look pretty comfy. Welcome to camper life, mate. Welcome to camper life. Living your best life. <laughs>